Welcome back to the Knot of the Week series. This week, we look at the shear lashing. The shear lashing is also known as the shear leg lashing and the A-frame lashing. Similar to the square lashing we did previously, the shear lashing consists of wrapping and frapping turns. Start with a clove hitch around one of the two poles. Then, create eight or more wrapping turns around both poles. These should be just loose enough to allow our frapping turns to pass between the two poles. Make two or more frapping turns. Finish with another clove hitch around the opposite pole. You guessed it, the shear lashing is used to bind the ends of two poles or stakes. You can also splay the legs to use to create an A-frame for a shelter or other structure. Or you can use it on a smaller scale to hold up your cooking stick when roasting a hot dog or marshmallows. The way we tied this previously uses what is known as normal turns for the wrapping turns. Another variation that is a bit tighter is with racking turns. To do this, start just as you did before, but instead of just wrapping the two poles, weave in and out, creating a figure of eight pattern. Finish the same way with your frapping turns and clove hitch. If you find it easier, you can also try doing the initial clove hitch around both poles. Another variation I've found is using two half hitches to finish the hitch. Regardless of which method you use, enjoy this new skill at your next encampment. Thank you for watching this episode of Knot of the Week. Check back next week when we look at the alpine butterfly. If you have recommendations for future knots, please let us know in the comments below.